Hello everyone and welcome to the Buick GNX, the Grand National, one of my favorite American cars of all time actually. It's so, so nice. I don't know why, I really like it a lot. It's very, very squarey, it's super American. It's also got a V6 and not a V8, which makes it even more interesting. I don't know, I really like this car a lot. So, welcome back to a build on the GNX. Big smoke! in the comments, said that I should build the GNX, so finally, here you go, Big Smoke. <laughs> here you go, Big Smoke, GNX drift build. It only goes up to level 299, but I haven't actually driven this as a drift car yet. I have built it before, can't remember what class it was in. It was probably a race class, because I like this just the way it looks. It looks really good now that it's lowered, but uh, I've already, like the way I built it before, uh, or it was a drag car maybe actually if I remember correctly. I think it was a drag car uh, And I think I titled the video build sort of because I didn't really do a lot of stuff to the exterior of it Because I love the way this car looks completely stock just the way it, lo it looks now if I was to keep it like this I would be perfectly happy, but uh, Since this is a build video, I'm gonna try change uh, a bunch of things on this one, especially since this is gonna be a drift car um, Probably wider arches different hood Bunch of other stuff. I will try to change on this thing. I promise. I won't leave it like the previous build where it's just like nothing done to it. But we'll start off and let's see if we can do anything interesting here. I mean, like bits and pieces that we can add on this thing are pretty scarce to be completely honest. So like if anything just looks ugly, I'm not going to add it on. Um, I'm just going to tell you that now. But um, like since this is going to be a drift car, I am perfectly happy but adding some sort of a kit onto this thing, so I don't know exactly what we have here. What's for the fenders? I can't even go to them. Okay, fenders, we have a lot of them. We have slightly whitened fenders, okay, so that's fine. If these ones, these, and these. Um, You know what? I'll pick these just because it makes it look a lot whiter. Again, it's... I'm gonna, gonna turn this into a build where it's just parts going on to it um, just to make it look more insane I guess I'm I don't know if I want to choose like a big wing onto this thing I think this is probably gonna be the best wing there's nothing uh, there's nothing else other than this that I would actually add on I just they don't look good um, again it is a car that I don't think I would build like this if I had the option to it, it definitely isn't I, I really don't like doing this to, to some of these cars but I mean I can't see what that rear end looks like. I don't like that at all. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna add a diffuser onto this thing. For the exhaust that we could, we can change the exhaust. Add a bunch of different ones. Um, I'll choose these. These look kind of decent. Uh, diffuser, I'm not gonna change again. For the taillights, slightly tinted, I guess, would be alright. Again, not really a lot of stuff to change here. For the side skirts, I can't do anything there. Uh, for the headlights, is it gonna give me the Grand National headlights? Oh, <laughs> there's a big chrome strip around. I don't like the way they look at all. I really don't. They look perfectly fine right now with no lens on them. Uh, for the wing mirrors, we can change a couple bits and pieces here as well. I'll change them, even though it doesn't really make too much of a difference. Uh, and then I think the wheels are next, and that's pretty much it. We can't really change anything else on this thing. Um, we can't change the roof or anything like that. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, there's not really a lot of stuff we can actually change on this car in the first place, but, like, the things that we can change on this car, I wanted to sort of do something to, because I, the last time that I built this car, it was literally the way I would have this car in real life. Like, very, very, very few modifications done to it. Um, so, yeah, anyway, also, these are not 17-inch wheels. I don't understand what, like, why is that a thing? Like, if I go to... To size, oh, I can't change the size of these wheels, but it's they're definitely not like look you can change the rim size And it still says uh, That they're 17 inch wheels anyway uh, I will try to find a good set of wheels for this thing something that matches the original would look perfect I think in my opinion for this thing um, So I'll be back in a second and see what I can find. Okay. I found a really nice set of SSR wheels I think they look great. I changed them in size a little bit. I made them slightly slightly bigger um, I mean, this is all the way low to the ground. Uh, it'll be kind of interesting if I put bags on it to see what it'll look like. Um, I will add a little bit more camber in the front end for some reason. So I don't know why, it just looks really, really good with it. Uh, and then paint and wrap. I think we need to go into the paint and wrap and have a look and see what sort of designs people have made for this thing. And then I'll go ahead. Oh, per perfect design. I'm definitely going to add this on. Uh, I'm joking. But, um, 
yeah, this always just looks really, really, really good with dark colors. Always looks really good. So either gray or black or anything like that, I think it looks absolutely brilliant. Um, not sure how I feel about the massive sticker bomb everywhere. Or not sticker bombing, but like just loads of stickers everywhere on this thing. Yeah, I don't know how to feel about this. Again, this this just looks good with like a a darker color or a flat color like this. This looks really nice in my opinion on this car. I think we'll keep it with this. I definitely think we'll keep it with this color, or I'll keep it with this color. I like it. I think it looks great as a drift car. Anyway, it looks uh, it looks really really good. Uh, flat colors just suit this, and also it matches the uh, the wheel arches a little bit or the fenders um, a little bit because. Uh, I mean, they're grey and you can't really change the colour of those by the looks of things. Uh, or you can, but people haven't really added these on and changed the colour of them. Uh, I'm going to change the colour of the wheels. I don't know if I want to keep them in gold. Um, if I do want to keep them in gold, I think I'd like to get them a little bit shinier than they are now. Um, so, let's have a look if we can do anything here. Can I just change this? I'm not going to go chrome. See, maybe something like this. Glossy colour, but it needs to be a little bit more... I don't know... A little bit more yellowy, I guess. A little bit more saturation for this. Let's see, what'll that look like? It's still like the very, very similar color, right? If I do that. If I do this, it'll turn them a little bit more golden. Uh, there we go. That's, that's a proper golden color, right here. That'll turn them a bit too chromey. If I put a clear coat on it, it won't really change much smoothness again. See, that's a perfect color right there. And I'm going to do that and apply that to all rims. Uh, and then for the ri actual rim part of it, we'll go we're going to go ahead and actually change that to chrome. And I think that looks kind of decent. I don't know if, uh, if you guys like it or not, but I think it doesn't look too bad. Well, anyway, this is it. This is our GNX drift car. Um, very interesting. Level 299. So... Yeah, we'll see what this thing is actually like. Uh, the only level 299 car that's the best right now in the game is the uh, Super BRZ or BRZ. And that's just so good that I decided to swap it out with another car that's absolutely amazing in this game. And stick it in my top 5. So, um, it, this has a very, very tough battle if it wants to be really, really good at it. What is it doing? It's just like stuck in the ground. It's got a really tough battle if uh, if it wants to win against the, the BRZ. I like the way it looks. Honestly, like I really like the way it looks. I, I was a huge fan of the, the fenders when I put them in the shop, but I wanted to have fenders on it, and now I kind of think it looks it looks kind of decent. It already just wants to slide, just for me just driving around normally slowly. All right, let's uh, let's actually drive this thing and see what it's like. I haven't. This is like one of the guys that I haven't actually driven yet before. I've uh, I've actually done the visual like build on it, so it's gonna be interesting to see because I get the experience this guy the first time with you guys let's see what it's actually like to slide so it's not quick it's not that fast so far it's not bad so far it's not bad it, like it gets sideways very very easily um i'm not gonna do this because i'm just gonna lose money i love it i love the little rim around the the, the wheels as well the way they stick out it, i think it's perfect My god, this thing actually gets down. It's definitely not as responsive as the uh, BRZ. But it can hold a slide for days. Why is this thing so good? Come on. Just right away decided to not want to slide anymore. Okay. I don't know why it's doing that. It just decides to, like, not want to slide. Damn, this is so good to drive. It sort of, like, just gives up a little bit for some reason. I don't know why that is. 
I like taking it to a slide, and then just suddenly it just gives up. I, I don't understand. Like I haven't really done anything to this thing, or I haven't like I really changed much on it. But just overall, trying to squeeze out points with this thing is stupid. What a great car! Oh my god! What a really, really good car to drive! I'm not... I'm, I'm very, very serious. It's such a good car to drive. For points especially. If, you want, if you're if specifically looking to try to get points with a level 299 car, this is incredibly good. This is incredibly good. I don't know why it just decides to like straighten up every now and then, like just, just by itself. Like, I don't really do anything. I just... I literally do the same thing as I usually do. I just tap the brakes, transition, and then... It decides to like not do it. Damn, th this actually drives really, really well. I'm not gonna lie, I really, really love this car. It's missing a little bit of power. If this would have been a level 399 car, I think it would do very, very well. I really think so. I really think that this car would do insanely well as a uh, as a level 399. Cause right now it's just killing it. It's it's such a good car to drive. I'm so impressed. I really, really am. I'm really impressed at how good this thing is. Well, this is the GNX, everyone. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little video and this little build. If you guys have any other suggestions for future builds you guys want to see on the channel, let me know down in the comments below. Obviously, tell me ones that I haven't done already, because that's the whole point of this. What's the point of me building the same car again and again and again? Um, obviously, tell me builds that I haven't done yet. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you want to see more stuff like this on the channel, don't forget to subscribe, as usual. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like it. Well, that's pretty much it. Again, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.